a woman with, is born with a number of specific number of eggs so all those eggs are during during the whole reproductive cycle from the time that she starts her menses in perhaps or 10 or 13 years old till the time she stops her uh, menses when she reaches menopause the fig, there is a fixed number of eggs which she is born with so there is a myth that when, if we uh, stimulate a woman a number of times and use their eggs for an IUI or IVA for an ICSI then there is a myth that the ovarian reserve decreases but actually it's not so when we are born the specific number of eggs are used every cycle in such a way that when it is a natural cycle you the uh, from the store there is about 10 or 12 eggs naturally coming out into the ovaries from from those 10 or 12 there is just about one or two follicle or egg which finally reaches the mature stage and the rest of the, them all get redundant so actually in a natural cycle there is wastage of the other eggs because there is only one egg which finally reaches the maturity stage. When we are doing an IVF or an ICSI, we are stimulating the women for that particular cycle. So all the 10, 12 eggs that are there for that month, those are the ones we are growing. So in fact, we are not wasting a single egg for that month. We are growing all of them. We are taking all of them out and making use of them by doing an IVF or an ICSI. So there is no way that because of ovarian stimulation time and again that the reserve in a woman will decrease it is absolutely a myth the hormonal treatment as such do not have any effect on the women or on the child because the hormones are normally produced in your body but we are giving them in an extra dose from outside so that we can make uh, a good number of eggs during your IVF or an ICSI cycle. So the hormones that are injected, it does not have a long term effect. So many studies and researches are going throughout the world in, in trying to find out whether at all there is any long term effect of these hormones which are given to the women during the cycle to the woman herself or to the child which is born after the hormone therapy but till date there is no study which has shown that yes there is a particular risk for the child or particular risk for the woman because of all these hormonal treatments there might be some temporary problems like nausea bloating dehydration etc during the time that you are taking the injections for the cycle but otherwise till date there is no particular study which has proven that the hormones have created some problem in the child or in the mother but the studies are still going all on and we are still trying to even find a little little bit of risk that is involved so but till date there is no proof as such